Oh, hey, look. Wow. Alright, everyone. We are back with some more Undertale. So let us go to our next destination. Let's just move the mouse real quick. It's in the way. Oh, shit. That is not the right way. Uh. Let's hope the doors are open this time. The door has no mail slot. Slide the. Uh, under. No! You'll keep the ladder warm for a little longer. Oh, the door has no mail slot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Wait, what? Wait, you slide the door under and then we give a door a knock. Okay. Oh, oh. N no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut c kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Uh, hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I ha had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less um, this, and so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up f to you. Did I say that right? Yeah, let's go on a date. What? Dating start. Uh. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, H how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affections. Statistics first. That increases the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spirit repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start with the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's uh date. Mm, okay. Uh, do you like anime? Hell yeah, I do. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Hmm. I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Ah! Have you at least seen her? Should I be a good friend or not a good friend? 
I mean, it's pretty obvious she's just right there. So yeah, let's see. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh. Oh my God. Oh well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just just figured, y you know, it'd be fun to just to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's a person I uh really want to go on a date with, but I mean she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool, but, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? I can't keep lying forever, man. Tell her the truth? What if I tell her the truth? Uh... But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. How do I just be whatever makes people like me? <laughs> no. You're alright. You're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth of their own on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. How can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> They're both the same answer. Let's roleplay. Obviously, let's roleplay. Let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ha! Ha! Glad to hear it. Uh, so I, I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Then she kisses you! <laughs> what is it? Uh, you see, I... I... I, I, ha I haven't been actually truthful w w with you. you. You see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne! I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk ner nerdy and stuff. You always do, do your best to make, make me feel feel special. Like telling me that you'll be beat anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, I'm dying, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, oh shit, it was just like, like ice cream, and those teen weed history books I keep me, no, it's just dorky comic books, and history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen to get in my presence. That time I had Alfie's. 
I, I just want to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm dying. I, I really think you you are neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. What? Alphys. I think you are in need too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Wait, I know and I know just the training you need to do that. I'm dying, you. You are gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I I'm dying. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god! She was kidding, right? <laughs> those cartoons? Those comics? Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? <laughs> Anime is real! Ha ha ha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! How the hell did I get all the way over here? Holy shit. Alright. That was interesting. Safe spot. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Cool. Alright. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, you're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. All right, let's do it. Whoa! Alrighty. Well, oh, still image of me. Anything changing here? It's a computer. It's actually some kind of puzzle in snow. Then. Oh, really? Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. Oh, hell yeah! You guessed it. Got the instant noodle. It's a bag of dog food. Half full. Oh shit! That scared me. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Alright, well, uh, I don't think there's 
Yeah. Unless upstairs is different. I'm explore everything. Woo! Ooh. Hey, it's thing. Looks like Metal is gonna go in repairs. I can't remember what was different. I think it's everything the same. Anyway, let's go through the door. <laughs> Bam. Elevator. Hmm? Warning. Warning. Elevator lost losing power. Oh shit. M theta sedili alpha two dropping. Okay. Wait, so how the hell do we both get back up there? Hello. Oh. God damn, this game reminds me of a horror game now. Holy shit. I'm not a fan of horror games. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of all the souls. Soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. So power can only be delivered from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh. Entry number three. By extracting a soul from a living monster will require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's hosts. And unlike the persistent heal eh. and unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster so last. Oh, entry number five. Wait, it wasn't it? It's good for. I've done it. This is the blueprints. I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls their strength. Eh. their souls the strength to resist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Wow. Wait, who's it is get four, okay. Alright. Go up. Oh now this is fucking creepy. Save! I didn't even get determination saying into that, holy shit. There's no on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center, center door. That's all you could read. Mm. Power room. This is the power room. Buy chips for $25? No. Pretty sure I have enough. Yeah, I have a sh <laughs> I have a full inventory of food I can use. Alright. Let's... Oh. Entry number six. Askor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They are still comatose and soon. Ah, comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, that's creepy. Holy shit. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ew. The key. Blah, 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 same shit. Okay. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Hi. Oh. True near. Oh shit, no.
Uh oh. Huh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, you take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun! Nobody came. A memory head. Join. Then hold still. It's a real get together. It's a real get together. Uh oh. Fuck. But nobody came. Kind of need to eat a similar one. Come join the fun. Oh shit, I didn't read what the other one said. Just a moment. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. I don't think I gotta do both of them. Holy shit. Oh, nobody came. You'll be with us shortly. Why have I ever fused? Oh shit, it's faster now. That's a shame. It's a real get together. Huh! Oh! You want your zero XP and zero gold. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it in and you put it on your keychain. Hell yeah. There's a no underground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Oh, I already did that. Click, the red key fits perfectly into the slot. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright, now we have access to the red door. Yep. Cool. Let's save. Save. Right. Red door. Entry number 12. Holy shit, number 12. We just read 6, I think. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. Just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh shit. It's an empty dog food bowl. Like, the game's kind of loud. Just want to put it down a bit. There we go. That's better. Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the if you were to the left of it. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Uh sure. Oh. It's a bed. It's a bed. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's a yellow key. You put in your keychain. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. And it's not bad. <laughs> oh, save. There we go. Entry number 14. Everyone had, that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Question mark? Should we go down first? Oh. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's power when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh, going flowers. Well, a plant is kind of like a species. I wouldn't say it's not. I mean, it's living. Experience on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. Yeah, it has to work with anyway. These just stick to you and won't let go. Oh. Oh. What the? 
act. Uh... Pick on. You pick on, it seemed effective. No worries, that came through. What the hell? Uh oh, I don't like this. Mystify, you seen something, you did something mysterious. Recognize, recognize it has more to learn from this world. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. What the? How the hell did I get hit with that? Alright. How about if we. Hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh. Ho! Ho ho. Alright, hum doing doesn't work. This is if I kinda works. How about we pray? You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage, Ribbit, Ribbit. Shit, it seems faster now. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh! Reaper seems. located. Oh! You won! You're in zero experience, zero gold. There's a note on the ground, you can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could for three. Shit, alright. Maybe something's on the flowers. No? Alright, well. Right, I need to heal myself. Alright, I'll go out here. Wait, did I read this? Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down? Oh yeah, I read it. Uh, entry number 15. Seems like this research as was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent those back to your Asgore. Returned the vessel to, to his garden. I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. What? Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, I do like walk slowly towards it. Okay. 